In places like Northeast Ohio that really have four seasons, we have something we call false spring or full spring, and there could be multiple. Basically what happens, it gets a little warmer. Um, it's 50 degrees in these first few clips, but if it gets up into the 60s and sunny, people really just want to be outside, especially after a winter like this one. So people are trying to get their favorite bars and restaurants to get the patio furniture out. People are walking in the neighborhood and people are walking on paths like this. This is my ride down the hike and bike to Kent here. The thing is, we all know in the backups of our minds that we're not out of the woods yet. Um, even after I film this, I have a video out about the last snow ride, which might not even be the last snow ride. We might get snow again. It's not that crazy for us to get snow in in April, but we will take what we can get. The thing that also goes with this comes a little frustration on trying to ride the bike pass because you get a lot of people that normally wouldn't be out there. So you get some trail noobs, you know, the people who think they are going to work out this year, you know, who might be a little more unfamiliar with trail etiquette. A lot of the hikers too will be on the bike trails with the crushed limestone or the pavement because it's just simply too wet to hike in the woods. Uh, you know, you don't want to get all muddy, plus you don't want to ruin the trails. It's still worth it. My only frustration comes with, like I mentioned, really bad trail etiquette. People who don't pay enough attention, you know, when you're trying to give them the on your left or ring your bell. People who are letting their dogs run all over the place and you really have to worry about them. But, you know, that's always part of using multi-use trails. You have to keep, you know, in control of your bicycle. You know, you've seen footage of me riding really fast on a trail, but those are times when I have a lot of um, clearance, uh, what am I, to visual clearance you know I could see where I'm going or we oftentimes ride at times that aren't that busy you know later at night or earlier in the morning I have to laugh when I see someone in like full kit and arrow bars bombing down a bike path I mean it, that's just not that's not what they're for around here you know you know that person probably got in their car and drove to a trailhead anyways they should have went out to the country and ridden country roads um, enough of that rant though it's just you know they're shared trails we all got to use them together and people got to be aware but we also have to control ourselves on our bikes. One thing I found about the spring now though is that I tend to ride my vintage road bikes more in the spring than any other time. It kind of goes hand in hand with the idea of the hikers can't be in the woods because it's too wet and that's a lot of the situation I find myself in. You know you can't really go mountain biking and a lot of the cuts we would take that are not exactly official are just too muddy. So there's really no reason to go off road so I might as well ride some of my vintage road bikes while I have the chance. It seems in the summer now that I almost always want to grab my gravel bike. The reason kind of being even even if I'm planning a very pavement heavy ride, my options aren't limited to where I go. You know, I just changed my mind and I want to hit one of those cuts that are off road on my way home. I could do it when I'm on my gravel bike. Also, the thing is our roads just aren't that great around here. And when I'm riding my gravel bike, I find that I just don't have to pay as much attention to the potholes, the cracks, the sewer grates, the trash, and on and on. And with drivers not being the best around here, it's nice to have the option not to have to swerve to avoid things. I, I guess if I could learn to Buddy Hopwell, that might not hurt either. <laughs> But all that being said, I do love riding this Trek 500. Um, it's a bike that I built up after riding a few vintage bikes, kind of in a, maybe in a more original setup, you know, down tube friction shifting like my Viscount and my Peugeot. And this is the bike where I kind of realized what I really wanted out of something that was a road bike. I love the aesthetics and the feel of vintage steel. It's great to have this Shimano 3x9 group set with the brifters on it. Um, the 3x9 is so versatile too. I've I've done tours on this bike where I've been climbing up a steep gravel hill and I have that super easy gear to get up it, you know, fully loaded and all that kind of thing. But I also still have PRs on this bike where, you know, I'm in the 5011 head down blasting. So it's just a great versatile bike and it's so fun to ride. And every time I get back out on it, I really enjoy it. It also has reasonably wide tires. Um, they are 32 and I could fit those on because this bike, I also did the 27 to 700 C wheel conversion. and the 32s are about what fit in there comfortably so by today's standards um, and with the people I ride with still narrow but wider than some kind of you know aero carbon monstrosity so yeah I really like it and I have taken it off road like I mentioned I could go across some decent gravel on this bike and still be getting the job done without being too worried and like I said the road bikes just have kind of become a spring thing to me in the end of this video you could see this was our last ride I did this was out to Kent with the friends and I was actually riding the route we did a little bit of off-road and it wasn't too wet where we were heading and this day was just glorious we just had an awesome last week um, you know 60s sunshine all that kind of thing 
It's so great. It has me so looking forward to the summer. The rest of this week is looking like a lot of rain and thunderstorms. And like I said, we just don't know what we're going to get in the spring. Uh, it could rain for the next two months and be rough, even though the temperatures are kind of rising. I'm not a big fan of riding in the rain. Or it could be beautiful, or we could get a couple more snowstorms. You never know. This time of year is really the time when you we all get out whenever we get the chance. That's it for this video. Just a little bit of rambling, and I will see you in the next one.